Hi, before you skip this ad, take a moment to hear me out. But first, let me ask you a couple of questions. Do you find blue-haired left-wingers on college campuses who oftentimes cry about social justice as insufferable as I do? Do you believe that them using their free speech rights to speak out against speech that they deem harmful or hateful is actually an attack on free speech itself? And do you believe that trickle-down economics isn't complete and utter horseshit? No? Well, it looks like you're missing out on a lucrative opportunity, my friend. Now I know what you're thinking. SJWs, right-wing economics, how are these two things related? Well, allow me to break it down for you. You see, I'm a right-wing YouTuber myself named Rave Dubin, and I used to be progressive. But I realized that being a left-wing political commentator wasn't necessarily yielding the financial payoff that I had hoped for or thought that I deserved. So I did what any business-minded individual in my predicament would do. I decided to team up with Coke-funded right-wing organizations like Learn Liberty or PragerU in order to get paid to peddle propaganda and spread harmful misinformation in order to do two very important things. One, boost my public profile, and two, make fuckloads of sweet, sweet cash. Now, since PragerU is about educating people, we do have a U in our name after all, I'm going to teach you how to do what I do so you too can turn a profit. And really, there's a plethora of ways that you can go about doing this. Me personally, see, I have a show where I bring on white supremacists and even proto-fascists, and I do all of this under the guise of exploring the marketplace of ideas. And when I'm inevitably then called out by the left for doing this, and irresponsibly platforming people who are pretty much Nazis, that's when the real money starts rolling in because then what I do is play the victim and construct a narrative that it's actually the left's goal to censor me. I build my case against the big bad SJW boogeyman and denounce their criticism as just more outrage from the left. And this is what a lot of right-wingers like myself do on YouTube because as I simultaneously build the case as to why I'm really the one who's the victim here, I get all of my right-wing viewers to rally around me and support me and send me money and buy my merchandise or brain pills or whatever bullshit I'm trying to hawk at that moment. You see, it may not necessarily seem like SJWs are the biggest threat to the country or even free speech, but that doesn't matter. The SJW narrative is crucial to our cause. And when I say cause, I mean goal of making money. And it would behoove you to learn how to execute this strategy yourself if you'd also like to profit. So here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're going going to want to identify a fairly straightforward example of a left-winger behaving badly and extrapolate from that. Meaning, show your friends or viewers how unreasonable and authoritarian students on college campuses have become and tie their outrage to broader cultural issues. Explain how this is just a microcosm of a bigger issue that's plaguing society in general. Their hypersensitivity to any and everything that they deem unjust or racist or misogynistic is actually putting all of us on a path directly towards full-blown authoritarianism, where suddenly we're all going to be silenced for daring to speak up about things that our peers may or may not deem offensive. Be sure to also catastrophize and throw out extreme hypothetical questions like, will free speech be banned in order to accommodate hypersensitive snowflakes that don't want their feelings hurt? I know, <laughs> it sounds fucking dumb, but just roll with it because people will believe it, trust me. I've been doing this for years now. Now, as you're building the case against left-wing authoritarians, make sure you avoid talking about the relative social authoritarians that we have on our side. Because yes, it's true, we do technically have snowflakes on the right as well, who do exist and frequently get triggered by desecration of the American flag, kneeling during the national anthem, being openly blasphemous towards our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, or criticizing Daddy Trump. Now, you don't have to bring these things up to appear fair or neutral, because remember, we're trying to convince them that the left, and only the left, is the problem, not necessarily because it's true, but because it's just our initial sales pitch. You see, once we hook people with our anti-SJW opener, we then expose them to more complex ideas related to SJWs and perhaps bring up how feminism is cancer and just so happens to be tied to SJW movements on college campuses or how crazy it is that transgender people have become the pronoun police and they definitely want to lock you or me in jail 
if we happen to misgender them. Now for this, I refer to my friend Jordan Peterson whenever this issue comes up because he is extremely knowledgeable about this particular subject. And we complete the shit sandwich by sprinkling in some white supremacy. Get them to think that racism no longer is an issue and that it's actually the white people who are the victims of racism. Oh yeah, bring up how the supposed link between race and IQ definitely exists because I promise you, if you throw in words like biology and science, it adds a more intellectual veneer to your argument and makes you sound way smarter and more persuasive as a result. Now, once you've gotten them to see the light on these key social issues, or at least influence them to be open to hearing more about your argument and worldview, you can then introduce them to right-wing YouTubers such as myself who will continue to scratch that anti-SJW itch. Remember, we just need you to make the initial sales pitch and then right-wing propagandists such as myself, Stephen Crowder, Stefan Molyneux, or Ben Shapiro will close the sale. And once they start watching those guys and see how easily college students can be destroyed by media-trained propagandists on issues related to social justice, they finally begin to realize that these influencers, people like myself, must also be right about other issues too. Perhaps economic theories like trickle-down or deregulation are also correct. Maybe climate change is real, but perhaps humans aren't the ones causing it. You see, we're not really making any definitive statements here. We're just asking questions. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here. At PragerU, we don't actually give a flying fuck about SJWs on college campuses. We just use them as bait in hopes that unsuspecting dipshits bite it, and once they do, we reel them in and get them to support a political party and economic system that's wholly against their own self-interest. Now, I should mention that we do have to stay firmly committed to this idea that we hate any and all identity politics, but if you're gay, if you're black, or a woman, We'd actually really like to hire you especially, because you guys get to say all the fucked up shit about your community that others can't. For example, I get a nice bonus every time I bring up my husband and then subsequently give one of my right-wing colleagues permission to call me a faggot. Now, I know what you're going to say. Doesn't all of this seem immoral? To be this divisive and intentionally so discord socially in order to keep the peasants fighting? while people like me rob them blindly and legitimize an exploitative and unjust system? Well, sure. And I'll admit, sometimes I do feel bad about it, but then I remind myself that it's nothing personal, it's just business. You see, we live in a capitalist system, and I'm just simply greasing the wheels. I'm riding the wave of capitalism until it inevitably consumes itself and brings down the entire fucking planet in the process. And what I'm doing now is using the money I'm making to buy one of those lifeboats that other rich people will probably have once the planet inevitably becomes uninhabitable. And I'm gonna then watch peasants fight over crumbs and kill each other from a safe distance. See, I'm looking at the bigger picture. I'm looking looking out for my future and your future as well. In fact, all of us are at PragerU. It's about survival. Now, of course, I never say any of this out loud and publicly I'll continue to identify as a centrist or technically left wing because that helps us to cultivate a little bit more trust among viewers and you should do the same. So join the cause, get educated by PragerU because we're definitely a real university after all because uh, you learned something by watching this, didn't you? <laughs> Dumb motherfuckers.